All right, so, so this is so cool. I wanted to show you this to, this to you guys. So we got uh, different types of fish. Uh, people buying stuff. Uh, the garlic. Corn for the pozole. Beans. More corn for pozole. Rice. And over here we got all the different chilies. So if there's nothing more Mexican than this, it's fabulous. Got all the different chilies for making all the different sauces and all the different uh, di uh, di different types of Mexican dishes. So Mexican cuisine is one of the most famous in the world. And here we have tamarindo, which is used to make a drink a lot of the times. Uh, it's grown on a tree, and you'll actually when you're walking around sometimes you'll see people picking the tamarindo from the tree. So really super cool to have all the chilies to make all the different sauces and all the different delicious dishes. So the Mercado de Abastos is like the heart of uh, the, the food in Guadalajara. All the food will arrive here into the market and be pumped out all over the city. So the food will come from different regions in Mexico and all throughout the country. So I read that the market provides uh, direct employment to about 2,000 people and indirectly empl uh, provides employment to another 10 or 15,000 people. So it's a huge uh, source for income and food in the city of Guadalajara. So I'll go and turn the uh, camera around, uh, give you guys a check out, uh, be able to see what's inside the market. We have the beautiful fruit stand here with all the beautiful fruits. Uh, some of the shops are still closed. And again, over here we have the chiles to make all the different sauces and Mexican dishes. Some of the, another beautiful fruit stand. And this is just one of the aisles or, or hallways in the market. There are tons of different, there are probably dozens of these different uh, hallways here where you can go down and then they have shops on different sides. And then on the back of the shops is where the trucks come in, imported from the countryside or uh, internationally. You've seen different boxes of uh, apples grown in the United States. And so there's probably some right there. Uh, I don't know if they're grown in Mexico or if they come from the United States, but I saw a box from the United States. Have some bananas, uh, cherry tomatoes, all sorts of different cool types of fruits. Mexican squash, delicious. And a lot is sold in bulk. So a lot of people come here because the prices are so low, they can stock up for the week, for the month. And a lot of people come here because uh, their businesses depend on it. They'll buy and resell. Have the nopales, super traditional Mexican food. I love the nopales. And it just goes on for blocks, blocks and blocks. So it's a huge center uh, where all the food comes in. Uh, some of it's still closed because of the uh, health crisis. I guess that's why. Uh, this is my first time. But a lot of it's still closed, and uh, but a lot is still open. Uh, the good part is I can find parking pretty easy. But let's keep going a little bit and see what else there is to see at the Central Market. cool too I want to show you guys this so here we have the, all the different traditional Mexican sweets and sweets are really different in Mexico a lot of times uh, something that's different from us is that uh, the strikes that at least struck me as being different when I first came to Mexico I knew it existed but to have the different spicy sweets and here we have some different spicy sweets we also have the different mazapanas which are uh, delicious I'm not a big fan of the spicy sweets they're all right but I guess I'm a uh, traditional American in that way that I like my sweet sweet uh, and then here we have some of the different sweets and we had some of that in the uh, different video from Tepati Lan. they gave me a try of this and these are really good they're like made from uh, different fruit and then it's uh, very sugary very sweet different mazapanas 
all different sorts of sweets you, you can buy. And then here they'll uh, package them up like this in bulk a lot of times so you, so you can put them in the piñatas. And then uh, they're ready to go. You just dump them in the piñata, get the kids out with a bat, break it open. Beautiful, delicious sweets. Mazapanas looks really good. Perfect for home quarantine. Eating, watching videos on YouTube. You'll be able to find all sorts of stuff at the Mercado de Abastos, the packaging. You have all the different drinks that you can buy in bulk, all the different oils and everything that you can buy in bulk. You have eggs, look organic, pet food, all sorts of different stuff that you can buy. Uh, stock up for the week, buy your groceries, and uh, it's all here at the Mercado de Abastos. You can probably find it, if you can't find it anywhere else, you can probably find it here at the uh, Central Market. I wanted to comment on that, that basically, it's the central market. So here we have san sandias, the watermelon, all sorts of fruit, vegetables. I watched another video on someone that was looking for salsa tapatia. And uh, if you're from the US, I knew it from the US. And it's basically like the salsa valentina, but it's not really sold here in Guadalajara. It's uh, tapatio is somebody from Guadalajara and the sauce is basically like the salsa valentina that you'll find here in Mexico but uh, I guess it's just the name change that they use for the uh, American market you can buy everything in bulk so much to see at the Mercado de Abastos you can even get your piñatas